I want to show you how to um, protect your passwords if you want. We're going to go into Applications, Utilities, Disk Utility, okay? Applications, Utilities, Disk Utility. Double click it. Now close this. Now you can go up here under File, Create New, or you can click right here create a new disk image. <clears throat> now what you want to do is uh, go to encryption and go to sparse disk image and then give it a name. Um, I just call it protected. And then it's going to ask me for a password. And I'm going to give it a password. And it will tell you the strength of it. And it says it's excellent. I'll try to see if I can type it again. Let's see if I did it. I would not remember it in the password in, in the keychain. Okay. <clears throat> okay. It's calling it protected. Now, what I want to do is get it out of here. Uh, control click here. And I want to eject this image. And it'll eject it off the desktop also. Um, close the disk utility. Okay. Now, if you notice down here, I have a sparse uh, image, it's called, 9.6 megabyte, even though I told it 100. It'll grow up to the 100, so double-click it. It'll want that same password. Okay, now as you see here, I have a disk image now. Now, <clears throat> there's nothing in it, but I could uh, drag anything into here. I, I got a catering menu. Now, this is put that in there. Now, if I wanted, I could delete that here. Uh, what I can do is control click on the image itself and eject it. Uh, now, now the only way I can get to that is through here, double click it and putting in the password. Uh, okay. Open up the image, and there I have this catering menu. But it could, it could also be a file um, created uh, with all your usernames and passwords. And you could also drag this over and put it on the jump drive. I'm going to control click and eject it. Okay. Uh, anyway. Now you have a place where you could store your users' names and passwords and nobody can access it. Okay? Thank you.